Hi everyone, in this video you will understand the utilization of sum if command for bill of quantity preparation. In this video you will learn that how sum if command are used in the preparation of BUQ bill of quantity. On the screen as shown in the scheme, I having a sample view cube in which I pick three types of item. Three types mean those items are break from three different sources, and for that I have to apply different premium and escalation on those items. The first option is to manually sum all those items in each category. And add the premium, but in a simple BUQ like this, it will be easy to handle it. But as usual, BUQ per project have a large data file, especially for big projects. In this case, you have to search every item, and it may lead to a human error. As I am going to add some item from the category A, and you see that. I select the item description A instead of the amount. So it is a human error and it is a common problem, a common error. So to avoid such problem, you should use the sum if command. In this video, you will understand the how to minimize these types those types of error so let's go to this you can see that there the, i get the, some of these value but um, in, uh, in a lot of data you will go to find every item again the description of isolate source so and the sample view queue, I have a source of three different. So, uh, I, uh, if I'm going to select each and every one isolately for the application of the um, premium, I should go to the um, option of SAMAP. Where SAMAP, you can see that at the range SAMAP, this is the range from where the criteria C. My criteria is C because I want the amount of C type item to be added. And what the sum item required, range, criteria, and sum range. First, you have to be definite in the selection of criteria because if I want C, I should write C under the commas and what I want the amount of the C item so I get the value here I can manually go through at and it for these all uh, three items I have different um, uh, possibility to pick it the sum app command you can see that yes these are all the original sum of all the isolated items so I can check add through manual calculation that this calculation is correct or not I select all the columns it include A B C all three are included but what sub sum apps command gets only the item and the category of A are selected. For the purpose of verification of this, the total amount, I am going to add manually the item in the category of B. You should see, uh, you should learn that the sum if command works perfectly fine. Let's see. Oh, tan seven two four tan seven two four. This is the item which are under the category of P. If I use a sum command of sum app. It 
choose a range with all the category and that range but the sum effect for the what I put in the criteria so it is the easiest way to avoid I am going now uh, for the summation of a data you look here are some error coming I'm going to enter it what is the problem here why they are showing like this um, so let's go to the mention cell yes uh, uh, double click uh, I, I am showing the this right now okay this is the H8 or double select so what is this this is a human and this is possible at every stage so the best option sum it if I said correct it now by manual selecting all the A's I selected all the A's and sum it down I get the required amount it is fine but it is time consuming and prone to human error I'm now I'm going to the item number C um, so the item number C for the correction of this item um, for the verification of some if comma let's see what is happening here C, C, and this wow let's uh, think the difference of these two what is this I simply sum it let me check it what is happening here uh, what is happening here I'm checking it uh, sum up uh, I20 H20 no it's okay I'm going through it what is happening here nothing has changed from changing the range to overall column it may be something oh I hide one row there uh, which was not required in the BQ so I uh, targeted it to the 20 20th rows and this is I am going to change it to the 90th row which is the required one so this is no it's okay now I'm going to show you the hide the hide row uh, let me check it is there anything in the hide row let me check it now okay uh, on hide the item yes it is there is an item if I'm going through sorry uh, sorry 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 uh, the other item sorry. I'm going to 20 yes this was the previous amount and it was so uh, we noticed that some if command also took into the sum the row which were hide from our view queue but um, uh, you should be care of what is not required in the view queue so the item which is required should be visible and the hide row should be eliminated, eliminated from the view queue if you are using the sum up command the one drop x of sum in command you can manually select these item and uh, recheck it so uh, I think it is very much useful to select to use the sum if command like this is the total amount of these items I uh, apply a premium on the item uh, A uh, on the item B on the item C a different uh, premium are applied in this and in this case uh, everything is happening thank you